The Motley Patriot here. Well, I am driving down uh, west of uh, Marshall, Virginia, uh, running the old road that I guess would have been 55. I'll have to check that. But anyway, on the way uh, at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and I come across this uh, new sign that just went up. Very interesting. And I think uh, the Marines out there are going to dig this one. Presley Neville O'Bannon. Presley Neville O'Bannon, circa 1776 to 1850. Near here stood the home of William and Ann Neville O'Bannon, where their son Presley N. O'Bannon was born. A first lieutenant in the Marines, O'Bannon served in North Africa during the First Barbary War at the Battle of Derna, Tripoli, which is present-day Libya. Don't tell Hillary Clinton. <laughs> On the 27th of April, 1805, he led a charge that resulted in the capture of a key battery. He and his Navy midshipman George Mann are credited as the first Americans to raise the U.S. flag over a fortress outside of North America. The victory helped end the four-year war and inspired the phrase, To the shores of Tripoli. Pretty cool. Um, real cool, actually. In the Marines' hymn, O'Bannon later served in the U.S. Army, settled in Kentucky, and was elected to the legislator, legislature. So here's to uh, da, 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 Presley Neville O'Bannon, badass Marine, Semper Fi, brother. Woohoo, America, gotta love it.